What does that mean? Oh, well. <laughs> Boy, what, what do the coins mean? What could that possibly mean? Trial of Shroom. Well, I had to, I had to get it. Damn. So, wait, what are the black ones? Can I stand on the black ones? And there's a, a there's a sped up power up animation. Hi. -ya. Right. Why are there- oh, there's a reserve mushroom. Okay, oh, well. Yeah, we get it down here, of course. Yeah, I completely understand everything that's going on here. I have to jump on that, damn it. Alright, okay. Okay, that was garbage. What the hell was that? It's like the platform falls when you pick up the mushroom. You, you freeze, but the platform continues. So I, I don't like that thing. How am I get, How did I deal with that last time? It wasn't even a factor. Yeah, okay, you grab it before you land on it. Uh-huh. There we are. Done. Switch palace achieved. Just go fast, apparently. Better days. Oh, let's hit it just for fun. Still no sign of the princess. What could have happened? Did she get kidnapped? Or maybe she left without Mario? Oh no, the water disappeared. to go down and then do a big jump? I don't know. Okay, that's, that's probably fine, I guess. Why are they doing this? Those games already exist on the NES. Why would they re-release them? <laughs> Silly me. It's like a nice updated version. You know, the thing is, I did rent All Stars um, from a video store. So that's how I played it. Ah, uh, it's like that. Well. You nasty dolphin. <clears throat> off the second fish, the left going fish. I have to do a full bounce off that one. Let's remember some stuff real quick. There, there, and then, yeah, so off. Yeah, that's right. That's it. One, two, and then launch. And hold right until. There we are. Alright. Okay, one, and two. <sighs> That, uh... Yeah, if it's if the intended way is to go under, then they wouldn't have left that gap, you know? I think the problem there is you have to fast fall uh, after the first hit, and then it lines up better. Speaking of lining up better, this uh, doesn't line up good. <laughs> it's good enough. Done. In the trenches, it's a water level, probably. It is a water level, definitely. Am I slow? Is this too slow? 
It's way too, it's way too slow being too, um, too short generally. There we go. Now, what is this? There's a P-switch there, I guess. Yeah, the only thing problem with Hitbox is that, like, you know how some Switch games, they don't let you use a D-pad? They force you to use some um, analog stick. For instance, like Animal Crossing as an example. You probably don't want to play that on your Hitbox, I guess. For, like, I don't know why you would, but anyway. Um, actually, if you're interested, Cheeseburger. Um, My Life in Gaming released a video recently where they they went and um, tested a bunch of the Switch Online controllers, the uh, all of the Switch Online controllers, with various like non-Switch Online games to see how they would how they work and which ones were suitable for for different experiences. I thought that was an interesting um, video to put up, and it's really long. It's like two hour, two hours plus. That's a, yeah. My life in gaming is a great channel. That's I got a lot of value out of that when I was first getting into like you know playing old games and getting into all the the RGB modding and all that sort of stuff. It was it was really um, it was a good resource. I think it's well put together. Oh, I'm slow. No. <laughs> I was thinking I'm mahogan. Because uh, so I was thinking about ROM hacks that require you to have use both L and R. Oh, no. Oh, what? Okay, he's he coming back up. Uh, maybe that's enough. Now. Oh, uh, why, why am I like this? Ah, uh, it's just, I saw the urchin was ahead of where I, it, it usually is, so I kind of knew I was slow, but it's fine. I, I mean, I could buy more time if I carry the P-switch uh, all the way around, so if I do a big item swim with it, but I don't want to do that. That seems fine. I can usually do that. Oh, now they're all lined up. Yeah, the urchin's ahead. Alright, just in time. I've created a problem. <laughs> problem of many fish. Okay. Well, whatever. This won't be a problem. We can just block them off. It does fire. Uh huh. It was real after all. Oh. Okay. So that kind of follows along. So if I need a block, I know where I can get one. What does that mean? Oh, well. <laughs> Boy, what what do the coins mean? What could that possibly mean? Oh. Just chill. Fish gate. Kind of want to get this awkward one. Uh, well, look, that's going to happen. Okay, but just for science, for the furtherment of knowledge, what is next? Well, I died because I can't swim. All right, we'll, we'll take this garbage one first. That was indeed a checkpoint. 
This section's all right. I don't mind this. I just don't know what that is supposed to represent. The, the thing on the left, it's an interesting piece of terrain. There we go. So now I think I'll get this garbage one here. This will be the, the next one. I've gone way too early. This block is done for. <laughs> it's a just the tip. It seems that way. It's Galaga. Okay. I'm not a, an old school schmupper, but I can appreciate a Galaga. Boy, I'm glad I hit the bottom one, not the top one, huh? There we are. Okay, autumn leaves. Fun jazz standard. This song is definitely not autumn leaves, though. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Man, imagine if you could stack arbitrary sprites in Mario Maker. Imagine all the cursed nonsense people would come up with in that game. Oh. And then he's going to turn around again. So he's gone. He's done. I mean, what is that? Go over. Fast. Let go of a little bit of jump. There we go. Whoops. Fun little re-grabby kind of jump. Is it a spin? Tell me it's a spin. It's not a spin. Well, see, I was... That's just one of those fun little metagame things. I had to guess. I mean, it's not like... This hack has sometimes used indicators. But it's, it's frequently not been the case. To the point where you just kind of have to take a guess. And then this is a controlled bounce, which is annoying. And big jump, get the shell, do a shell jump. It's the checkpoint. Hey, that's kind of cool. Jump, then jump, and then there's some more stuff here somewhere. Oh, well, damn. Redo. We get a redo. Oh, it turns around. Okay. Jump, jump, and land. Oh, you slip off it. Damn it. For some reason, you know, I thought it was going to carry me along. But of course it's not going to do that. That's not how the game works. <laughs> Don't interact with me. There we go. Well. I should have should have stayed on the platform. It's, it was kind of obvious, but like, <laughs> it's all right. For like so many times when I play this game, I stop and I hesitate and I try and suss things out. And that was not one of those situations. I hate this bit. Ugh. Hey, now I'm going to spawn all that stuff nice and early. There we are. It's the level, and it is done. Slash and burn. A lot of stuff's going on right now. Oh. Oh. 
you know. Hmm. Maybe even like since the the very early days. Checkpoint. All right. Nice. H. Uh, oh, I can actually grab those? Hell yeah. I bet I need to carry the block, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so if I if I do that then I can do that. Alright, spin. Well that was slow. Damn it. But I think the second half was it was also difficult, don't get me wrong, but I think I just liked the flow of it more. Even though it's a vertical level, it was I think it's it's a cooler section. So I'm just trying to like do this the, the cheesy kind of way by like chucking this block up. Because you can get so many of them. One sec. That thing. Disco. Alright. Done. Thanks for GG's. I'm going to look at confinement. It's a ghost house. Some pretty funky music. Oh, it's a nightmare cafe. We've already got problems. I don't understand. I, uh, maybe that's something I do later. I go across first. It's so different. Like, I, I don't know if, like, I feel the game differently, but... You just... If you see where a Kaizo block is, I think it's really different to, like, actually knowing where it is. Wait, why is there... Is there a secret exit in this level? Sorry, I'm just understanding that there's a door as well. In fact, what is the sh the shell is not used at all. Like you don't need to use it to get. Oh no, you would need to use it to get in the um in the door. Okay, that's fine. It is used. Okay. What does that do? Okay, this was one of the screenshots on SMW Central. Uh, so there's going to be some blocks that I can stand on after I do this. Oh, look, there's there's a lot of moving parts here, aren't there? Okay. Is it the does its position change or is it always locked into one cycle? It looks like it's locked in. So it go under this time. Uh, but it has to it has to line up in a good way. I'm dead. I didn't think there wasn't really a way to uh, it changes actually. I can see that it's shifting around. Imagine if it worked that way though. You just once you get good at coming up with freestyle raps while playing Kaizo, just suddenly all the all the difficult tech happens. Not to diminish the amount of practice that must have gone into Oh no, okay. I'm I'm paralyzed. There we are. Boy, that was lucky. Uh are these P-switch blocks or something? They are P-switch blocks. Okay, you can spin on this guy. I, I don't know what to do though. Let's, let's brain for a second. There's a key over there. There's on-off blocks. Uh, I have to do something with... I have to get the key down to the bottom left before the, the P-switch timer runs out. So first thing, first move has to be hit P switch, then on off blocks. Why would I want to change any of the on off blocks? 
Maybe it's, I need those platforms. I need the, the blue platforms at the bottom left, otherwise the jump's not possible. Like, what's the point of the sprite stacking here? It feels like it's just to avoid inserting, like, the, uh, the spiny, uh, para-spiny ASM. Which would also, like, achieve a similar sort of uh, result. Oh, this looks fun. Alright. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we can go down. Okay, I, I can never read these upside down clouds. All right, so we go down. On off block once, on off block twice. Oh, okay, it's just just take the uh, the grab block where it needs to go. Yeah, that that boo circle is using all of the sprites. That, and then I feel like I have to beat the boo circle, so I've got to go really fast everywhere. really tight. Um, what? That's a boo fight. Okay. Cool. So this should be the end, one would imagine. When figure out where to stand and when to go and all that stuff. Oh, you probably gotta, okay. Maybe it's this where you jump down and you gotta push into the wall at the exact moment you pass it. Like this can't be like a move that you gotta do, right? Oops. Well, I guess we just try and do it again. Oops, I did it. Hang on a second. Why? That one I didn't have to hold into the wall. Okay, it's fine actually. It's really easy. You don't have to press right. Apparently you can just tap Y at the correct time. Sometimes I wonder, like, if I were to load up Lunar Magic and I decided I wanted to make a big boo fight, I don't think there'd be any universe where this would be the one that I would make. And that's the beauty of creativity, is that people's minds work differently. Yeah, I can't Lunar Magic either. I mean, I, you know, I say that, but I kind of know how it works. Not even Lunar Muggle. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get down? Like, just go around? And then line up here? This makes sense. This is good. There we go. It's a boo fight. So, it turns out the ghost house... I'm so glad that in the very first room of the ghost house, it was immediately obvious that there was um, going to be two exits because we were faced with a door or a key. So this is going to be the secret, I guess.